Welcome to Crafty Ladybugs. Today's tutorial is going to be on the little rubber ducky. D is for ducky. We'll begin today's tutorial by placing a single band on our loom set in an offset position with our arrows pointing towards us. This is the way that I choose to do my tutorials, so please set your loom in a standard configuration and make sure your arrows are pointing towards your body. Take a single band, this is what I call a dangle band, place it on the upper right peg and just allow it to dangle over the loom. This project will use one orange rubber band and about 22 yellow rubber bands. So we have our dangle band, we're going to take two bands, place it from the center to the right, two additional bands coming right down the center, two bands connecting the center and the right peg to form a triangle, two bands coming straight down the center, two additional bands coming straight down the center. We're going to take two bands from the left to the center. This is going to be your neck area, the center peg, the second peg down, that'll be our neck area. Two bands coming down the right, two bands coming down, I'm sorry, the left. So that was two coming down the left. If I'm going too fast, please pause the video just to catch up. Two bands from the left to the center, and you'll begin to see the duck shape that we have going on here. This is an odd move. We're going to take one band, double twist it, and place it from the center to the bottom right. Now we're going to begin to place our cat bands, which will be a single band on the tail area. Wrap it around four times. Two, three, and four. So you need a four time cat band on that. And I'm just gonna relieve a little bit of the tension on that because it never fails whenever I go to reach in there. Something's not right, so just relieving some tension on that cat band. And you wanna place a horizontal band on these two open center pieces, and that'll be a double twist band. And the last capping type of band we need to do is the orange band for the beak, and that'll get wrapped around that peg three times. So a three time cat band. Now we're ready to loom. I'm gonna reach into my tail portion and I'm gonna get out that double twist band that's underneath that four time cat band. If I can get a hold of it, <laughs> which I cannot at the current moment. And we're just gonna loom that over to the center peg. This is going to be an odd movement. You wanna reach in and grab those double bands and pull them down to the left. And then we're going to work up our left side. And this is just straightforward looping. Pull back your horizontal band there. And we're going to straightforward loop and follow in the direction that they were laid. So we're going to loop that to the center. And I'm going to come back down to the center. And I'm just coming straight forward. Straight forward. Now I'm going to reach into this neck area and I'm going to grab the upper two bands and I'm going to place them to the right. Reach down in there again and get the last two bands and put that over the beak area. Push that down a little bit. Now with the beak area you want to be sure not to grab your orange bands in that. So push them away like a cat band grab those bottom two and pull that off to the right side. That's going to loom our whole piece together. And I'm going to reach down into my right portion. I'm going to get my dangle band. So reach in that right peg, get your last dangle band, and you want to slip knot that off. And we're ready to pull the project off the loom. And I always use the back of my hook. Many of you have followed along with my videos before. It just means that there's less fiddling to do. You always want to be sure to do it with your cat bands. And since I have that last cat band, my hook is still around that last cat band, just tug out on your tail a little bit. 
smooth out those bands some. And then you want to grab that cat band again and just pull up and down a little bit. Just tuck his belly out some. And here we have got our cute little rubber ducky. Now to get the eyes on the ducky, I go back to my old favorite, which is the Sharpie. And I just dot a little dot there for the eye. You could have also put a bead through there. You can string a bead through there if you wish, but I couldn't find any beads small enough that I thought looked right, so I just used the Sharpie. And to give your little ducky wings, a little set of wings, you simply take your hook, pierce through the center of your duck's body, take another rubber band, single band, and just pull that through, pull that through there, and your little ducky has wings now. So our little ducky has got his wings and he's ready for the bathtub. Thanks for watching.